G'day. This is my Texas Instrument TI-994A, which I purchased uh, on eBay from the States. So it's the NTSC machine. So it has composite, and I'm just using a MIDI cable, and later I'll, I shall make up a proper cable. But the 5-pin DIM mini, I'm just grabbing the... Uh, composite and audio and I'll actually make up a much better cable um, at some point in the near future. This machine also has uh, extended basic, a 32k side card and I do have a cassette interface uh, connected to my uh, Radio Shack uh, data cassette player with a recorder and because I don't have the US uh, transformer, I'm actually using a mean well to supply the 5 volts, uh, the minus 5 and the plus 12. So I've actually removed the internal part of the supply because it's not really needed um, unless I get my hands on the correct uh, AC transformer for Australia but this solution works quite well but the one thing that I don't have is a suitable joystick so what I've just done I've grabbed a piece of breadboard and five uh, switches and five diodes and these are just uh, 1N914 low voltage signal diodes and I've thrown that all onto a breadboard so I've got five uh, momentary switches and five diodes and this is all running to a nine pin uh, female breakout connector and the TI-994A supports two joysticks out of this one uh, nine pin connector um, so the fire up down left right are all common but there's joystick one and joystick two and uh, using the you can use a set of diodes to have both uh, joysticks wired up but this is just joystick one that I've uh, wired up and what I've done to test this I've just written a very simple little basic program so we'll just list that and then we will run this up okay and what I'm doing I'm just calling joystick one and I'm calling key which is important for the fire and I'm just returning the X and Y value. And if the fire key is pressed, key one will return 18. So I'm just, just displaying a one when it receives 18 on the fire. And then I'm just resetting that back to uh, zero. And it just loops around. I'll just run this. And at the moment they're all zero. So what I'll do, I'll just press a key. Okay. And it's returning a four. I'll press. Okay, so the to X it returns either four or minus four. Okay, now I'll press fire. It returns one, and I can also press the left and right key. Wi Fi is pressed. Now I'll press. Up and now you'll see when I'm pressing up, nothing's happening, and that's because I have the alpha lock engaged. But if I turn the alpha lock off, now the Y I can do up and I can go down. I can also go left and up, so you'll see that I'm pressing two keys and it's returning. Uh, two values. I can also press fire. I can also go and then press fire. So this actually works quite well. So what I might do is grab myself some perf board or a uh, vero board and just rearrange these keys into a much more sensible arrangement and cable this up and um, yeah, then I think I'll have a very basic uh, 
joystick. What I could do is use the same uh, method to connect an Atari or a Commodore 64 joystick. Um, I'm considering maybe I should purchase a original TI-994A set of joysticks. Um, but at the moment, the postage from the US is quite expensive. It's three times more than what the actual joysticks are worth. Um, yeah, so I can buy the joysticks for maybe $20, but then the postage is nearly $100, which at the moment isn't really sensible. Um, but I could just get an Atari joystick or a Commodore joystick or two joysticks and wire them up myself using just five diodes for each joystick. Um, so that, that's actually a nice proof of concept. Um, so there you go. You can actually build your own simple joystick for your TI-994A just with five diodes and five uh, switches or push buttons. Okay, I hope that was uh, useful. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Okay, take care all.